Gary forces Andy's hand, and she makes a heartbreaking decision. Karen finds solace with Danny and with Zach. Danny attempts to defend her behavior around Tony's kids. Sabrina meets someone new who's interested in her personal life. That's the episode synopsis for Tyler Perry's sister, season 7, episode 18. The name of the episode will be Where Do Broken Hearts Go? Okay, so first thing first, I was about to ask y'all, who do y'all think gonna have a broken heart? But I forgot, Andy's supposed to be breaking up with Jordan. Okay, y'all, so they showed two trailers, y'all already know. The first one, well, the second one they showed, Fatima was telling Deja she has one second to tell her why she in her house. Danny tells Karen she has so much resentment towards her. Andy is telling Jordan there's no easy way to say this, and he's asking if it's about Penelope. I said, oh. I said, Andy. I said, Andy, Andy, Andy. This wouldn't be happening if you would have shut up. <laughs> of course, she didn't know the bug was in the house, but still, you weren't supposed to tell him nothing. But yeah, Jordan is asking her if it's about Penelope. She said, no, it's about us. And I said, oh my goodness. And I said, no, nah, now you tell everything else. Tell somebody. Tell Fatima. Tell somebody. Fatima tells Andy to talk to her. And Andy is telling Fatima it's Gary. He's trying to ruin her life. Tiffany asks Danny if she recognizes this. Uh, and she holds up the little vape pen. Danny says, it's her vape pen. So Tiffany says she found it in her daughter's backpack. And I said, look here. Look here. Look here. <laughs> look, we're going to get this hood, though. Maurice, Maurice is asking Sabrina who is that and then she sees this guy. Pam tells Miss Maurice she is her biggest fan. She read her Forest cover story five times and she tells her that Miss Marie is her shero and then she hugs her and look like Andy trying to pull her up off Miss Marie and Hayden just standing there being Hayden. <laughs> okay, so where are we going to start? Where are we going to start? I want to bring up something that some people been saying. They think that Tony actually cheated on Danny. Y'all know that scene where Danny had woke up and came out and she was like, uh, she didn't hear him come in and he was like, he didn't want to wake her. Sonny said, and she was trying to, I think she was trying to sleep with him and, and he was like, no, he got to go. And she was like, that never stopped you before. And he going to tell her that it was a normal family dinner and everything. But he didn't say, did y'all hear the part where she was talking about something? Um, he could spend the night and it could be like last time they could be in bed together and the kids could lay between them. I said, uh-uh. I said, what? And they was also saying how their relationship was doomed from the beginning. At this point, everybody's relationship was doomed from the beginning. Rich and Sabrina, because she knew doggone well just like he did. And she was talking about how, um, who what was that? Andy. Andy was like the girls and her, they all was talking. And it's a huge question mark by Rich. I said, it's a huge question mark by all y'all. Matter of fact, I need to write that down so I can do a video on it. But yeah, um, by Rich. Let me write it down. She was saying it's a question mark because Sabrina called her. I see that they calling each other more now. But yeah, I was like, look, ain't none of y'all relationship no good. I think that um people in regards to Andy finally saying she loved Jordan or whatever. I think everybody fall at their own speed and you can't rush it. But I still feel like she has her doubts about him when it comes to him. We Rich and Sabrina she was saying how you, you know they were saying how he doesn't want kids and she does and you know all that good stuff but you knew just like he knew so both of y'all wrong and then based on the spoilers we've seen so far for season eight they still ain't gonna cut their losses or cut each other off or end things on good terms but no but okay what's the first thing the first thing is for Tima telling deja she has one second to tell her why she in her house and people are speculating that um zach called her because you know somebody had to get uh what's his name michael somebody had to get michael off the bus something happened with the nanny y'all know we got that behind the scenes y'all know we got that behind the scenes where they showed deja look like she had some cookies on the plate and she was turning around but they also showed fatima with michael in the background so something must have happened in regards to the nanny Y'all know this is supposed to be the episode where Danny, where Karen finds solace with Danny and with Zach. Danny is telling her truth, basically. She's telling Karen she has so much resentment towards her. And I said, they finally finna have to talk. They finally finna have to talk, y'all. Andy is telling Jordan there's no easy way to say this. I wonder what that uh, paper is that Gary pulled out. They showed in one of them trailers, he was pulling out a piece of paper. I'm guessing it's on the beginning of the episode because he's still talking to Andy in that yellow jacket, in that yellow blazer. But Andy tells Jordan there's no easy way to say this, and that's when he's asking if it's about Penelope, and she's like, no, it's about us. So I'm guessing that's where the whole where the broken hearts go comes from. And I said, what? Hopefully she tells somebody. Hopefully they outsmart Gary, and they come up with some type of plan to expose him, something. 
Fatima is telling Andy to talk to her, and that's when Andy tells Fatima it's Gary. He's trying to ruin her life. So hopefully they come up with a plan. Tiffany done found uh, Danny's vape pen in her daughter's backpack. Somebody said, um, y'all missing the bigger point. They was like, yes, um, it was wrong for Danny to just leave it out, especially with kids coming by and everything. But they said, why is your daughter, why is y'all daughter a thief? I said, ooh. I said, right. I said, right, because she keep taking everything. She took the handcuffs. She took the vape pen. I said, what's next? But now, moving forward, Danny should know if you're going to date somebody with kids, you need to secure that type of stuff. But she did tell Tony when he was talking about them handcuffs, um, he told her last minute, so she didn't know. I think this episode and the episode after that, so 18 and 19, the dude that they're talking about, I forgot. I had wrote his name down somewhere, but I think I threw that notebook away, y'all. But the guy, he's supposed to ask out Sabrina. He's supposed to work for the bank or something like that. And he's supposed to ask out Sabrina. And that's when she was like, she's in a relationship. I said, well, technically, then you just break up with him. But considering everything she got going on, you don't need no relationship. You don't need no more dates. But Maurice is asking her who is there and she sees him. I think episode 19 is when the man is supposed to try to present her with some type of opportunity. And I think the last thing, oh, it's something else. I don't think I mentioned it in this video. I was listening to um, some videos and everything, and somebody brought up a good point. They brought up a good point. They said about Trey. They said it's a reason why he's been sticking around. They think that he's been stealing or doing something unethical. Unethical. <laughs> and I said, do y'all think so? Do y'all think that's why he been studying ex and Pam about her business and giving samples and stuff like that? Well, I said, I wasn't thinking about that. But speaking of Pam, Pam tell Miss Marie, look like she's at the, uh, at the office, at the lawyer's office or whatever. And she sees Miss Marie. And she tells her that she's her biggest fan. She wear her Forbes cover story five times. And she hugs her. She hugs her tells her she's a shiro or whatever. Hayden standing there. Andy standing there. But that's all that happened. What do y'all think? I'm about to say what y'all think of season seven so far. But it's about to get ready to end. <laughs> it's about to end. I don't know. I feel like they're going to end with a bang. I feel like it's going to be something that's like really, really all of this for nothing. Because, again, they got everybody over here getting along or finna get along. Fatima done agreed to try with Karen. I mean, that don't really matter because how many times have we seen Karen be the one to start with Fatima? So. But according to the episode synopsis, the baby shower is filled with, um, I think it's 19. Yeah, 19. Yeah, and then 20. Duh. <laughs> Why I said it like that? <laughs> but I think it's the episode 19 when the baby shower happens. But they said the baby shower is supposed to be filled with fun and healing. And healing, y'all. Until Gary bring his hating tail on over there. And I'm so disappointed in Andy. I'm so disappointed in her. That reminds me. Some people were saying for her to be so intelligent, she not that smart. <laughs> she make a lot of dumb decisions. And then they were saying how, you know what? Hayden actually deserves to be partnered because he does more work than her. And I said, you know, he does do more work than her. Fatima does more work than her. And she always showing up late. But that's it. Let me know y'all thoughts down below. Stay tuned for the next video. Until next time, this is how girl rest of the day be safe. If you didn't know, I own a small business, Day Jones Learn Account, which specializes in educational products and mental health products like encouraging messages, groups, classes, stuff like that. Everything on the site except the group is currently on sale for just a dollar. So support today. The link is always in the description down below. It's a digital download, which means once you purchase it, it's going to take you to a confirmation page. On the confirmation page, you click the link and it's going to start the download immediately, y'all. Once again, thank you for the support. Deuces.